Hey guys, happy new year. We are finally here, 2021. Welcome, cheers, red wine to everyone. Uh, yeah, this is whatever I want to say podcast first. Rope talk after dark. So I am also not only doing this in the audio version, but I'm also doing it visually so you guys are able to see. So welcome. Someone told me, <laughs> they were like, bye, this is not um happy new year this is just december 32nd <laughs> and tomorrow is december 33rd i would say you guys are ridiculous because you know to some people um you know it's just it doesn't feel any different it just feels like it's just another day and another day in 2020 because so much has gone on. But anyway, today I'm going to speak about, I had a little conversation with an ex. And um, I know that a lot of us sometimes touch on these topics. It's, you know, and when you have, if you have children with your ex or if you don't, whether it's ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, ex-fiance, whatever. So, we were we were discussing about a particular topic and then somehow some way along the way it came like our relationship came up don't you hate when you're talking about something else and it's like shit here we go talking about this that i don't really want to talk about but whatever let's talk about it so he's like you know i feel like the the main thing that was like our issue was the way that you spoke to me the way that you made me feel like I was a child, like I was one of your kids and and I'm not. So I stopped and I processed what he was saying. And I was like, you know what? I could understand if someone feels that um, maybe the tone that I'm using is not the tone that they will like to hear or maybe they they don't want to hear period. But then I'm like, (laughs) I was like, I told him, I said, I understand and I'm listening to what you're saying. But unfortunately, um, because he was like, you know, I'm just looking out for the next person that comes, right? And then he's like, um, you know, da, da, da. so I was like, look, I appreciate what you have to say. I take it into consideration that there were times that my tone was not of that in or in that level that you like but unfortunately i i told him i said i was just you know i was building a bear you know i it was draining i was in a draining relationship with you i felt that my relationship with you was based around not only your friends and your parent yeah said singular had a huge influence on the outcome because unfortunately when you're dating sometimes the build a beard the build a beard does not have a backbone and if you are a strong woman that you like a build a bear or a a dude that maybe doesn't even figure out himself as yet sometimes you're attracted by the opposite of you and at times sometimes um you have to take into consideration sometimes being as they will say, like an alpha female or all these things, you sometimes tend to build, want to build people instead of accepting them for what they're actually giving you. And unfortunately, like I told him, I said, you weren't a good partner. I think that I had to tell you too many things. Like it was never on some take the initiative. It was everything, even after our relationship still falls on me. So when I started, you know, telling him all the things that, you know, the issues in regards that I had or the concerns that hopefully the next individual does not have, he was not able to receive it. He was not able to receive it the same way that I was able to receive what he was telling me. I'm like, if I'm able to receive what you're telling me, why aren't you able to process what I'm telling you? I am not lying to you. I'm letting you know that you are a draining relationship. I was drowning in the Titanic and I was like, 
Jack, you'll never let go. But I had to let go. I had to let go. I was like, bye, I can't. I can't. I was like, oh my goodness, this is too much. I was like, why do I have to feel like I have, I don't want to be in a relationship that I feel like I have to play both roles. I absolutely do not. But I don't want to be in a relationship that I feel like it's always, oh, but you didn't tell me. Oh, but I didn't know. After a while, like at the beginning, you kind of like, you don't know the person. So you kind of have to like figure out what they like, what they don't like, you know, certain things, et cetera. But after a while, after children. <laughs> it, it doesn't, because the thing about it that he doesn't realize is that it transferred over how you treated me, it transferred right over to the girls. And you're not taking responsibility for it. So yeah, you know, it's one of those. It's like, I. it was great that, you know, in the new year, we were able to actually have a little kind of like, somewhat of a conversation. But you have to be able to take ownership of your part whether it's the man or whether it's the woman, you both have to be able to say, you know what, I see my wrongs here. But if you are quick to point someone's wrongs, but you're not able to receive, you understand, and process your wrongs, your wrongs are going to always be repeated. I'm just letting you know, your wrongs are going to always be repeated because you're not listening. Sometimes some people, they listen to respond and there's no way that um, in a sense that if you were a particular way, if you feel that you're a particular, anyone, if you feel that you're a particular way and you have children with someone, that behavior that you had with that particular person should not be the same behavior that you have with your children. So in a sense, it's like, if somebody has to call and, hey, are you picking them up? Are you um, calling them? Are you checking on them? Like, you really didn't have to do the basic things that a lot of parents have to do, get up, make sure they're, they're brush their teeth, go to school, doctor's appointment, this, when they're in pain in the middle of the night. You didn't have to deal with any of that from a young age to still now. So sometimes, especially when the absent parent sometimes wants to dictate or say certain things, I will just say, think about how you are moving first before you say anything. I say, maybe think about like, you know what, maybe come out with something like, you know what, I haven't been the best productive boyfriend or parent, husband, et cetera. And I know that that is my flaw. But if you're not able to own up to that and acknowledge that and move forward, you're going to stay stuck. Like, dude, you're, you're draining. I, yo, yeah, yo estoy harta. Like, I was like, I can't. And then when it comes down to, of course, meeting the significant other of your ex, especially if you have children with them. Oh, look, I have absolutely no issue with the individual. I am always like, look, I wish her the best. I don't, I just want to know who is the person that you have my children around. But sometimes you, you don't want to make a big deal because you don't want to make people think that you care and all that nonsense. But what I do care about is my children. I'm not saying that you're going to put my kids in harm's way, but as a mother, as a parent, I just need to know how she looks like just in case. No, I'm for real, guys. I just need to know how she looks like, because if anything happens, good or bad, you have to know how that person's look, how that person looks. But unfortunately, sometimes some individuals, they don't process that and, and they don't get it. Like their answer could be, um, if y'all run into each other, y'all run into each other. Like you too, like, you know, it takes absolutely nothing to create a child. You put your 
in a person and you let go and let God. But there's a lot that comes in the middle of that. Like you're you're tied to this individual for the rest of your life. And if it doesn't work out, the process of blending the family, blending the family means if you're with a serious girlfriend, because you don't know if the person want to get married again. If you're in a serious um, relationship or not, the other person, they need to know of each other, need to I'm not saying they have to communicate. They have to be best of friends. If that, if it reaches to that, it's fantastic. I'm all for it, but it doesn't have to be that particular way. But if it is kudos to you guys, because you guys are on another level, but just the basics of knowing the person, hello, my name is such and such. Don't try me. No, I'm like, <laughs> no, I just, just very like, Hi, this is such and such, but it, but it is kind of true. Like, you know, the mama bear in you is always going to come out. And um, I've never had an issue like with this until now. It was, it was like pretty kind of strange, but it's like, you don't want to make a big deal about it because you, you don't want to make a big deal about it, but you do want to just be aware. I'm not saying that you're going to, again, like repeating myself to put my children in harm. But if you're a mama bear, if you're a papa bear, you get it. Harm or not, I need to see. Like, I need to see. I just need to see it. So it's just one of those, like, like why? You know, it's 2021. I hope that if you are having some form of issue like this, find a way to squash it. Find a way to make... um the issue a little bit smoother, but if you got a bonshuika, a bonshuika for a child's mother, that's a whole different subject because her energy alone, because I've experienced a bonshuika. My goodness, where did the gutter rat come from? Oh my gosh, experience a bonshuika. A bonshuika is like. She will drain you because there's nothing else that she needs to do. <laughs> she don't got shit going on. She will drain you. She will like make his life a living hell just because she got the time. Like, I always feel like I don't have the time to run after no dude. What? what? Do you guys not understand that we are the favor? Like there's more women on this face of this earth than men. Like, why are you running after, why? What? I just need to understand. But, you know, whatever, to each his own. But, um, yeah, Bonshuitas. It's like Bonshuika, Bonwika, Sharifa. Wow. Like, they are on another level. They are a super. And if you don't maneuver that situation properly, it can become very hectic for your relationship with that person. And, you know, you don't want that. It's kind of annoying. So hopefully, you know, you situate that. But yeah, if you have a bunch of in your life, I, I feel it for you. They are, they are a lot, but definitely, you know, hold your ground, hold your ground. And hopefully you have a partner that understands and loves you and, you know, can speak to a bonshuika somehow because sometimes bonshuikas they act up like that because either a they um they still are attached to the person or b they just don't want to see that person happy with nobody else besides them it's it's a lot it's draining it's draining so like have you ever had a draining relationship it's draining like you doing everything you you paying the bills you setting up your own um date night you're it just too much you do too much what they would call them now bums my goodness and then people get upset when like um what sweetie tap 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 in or city girls or all the all these songs come out get, no they're not lying whoever whoever got flew out by a bro person who whoever got cash out by a bro person that who? who 
What movie theater you could walk into and say, let me get in here free? What hotel? What what airline you could take that's free? What trip? What food? So the most draining individuals are individuals that you don't trust are individuals that don't have a backbone that can't lead. And it's okay because some people are some people are not leaders, but if you can't lead and you can't I guess take directions to improve your following skills. <laughs> yeah. I'll be a struggle section, but you know, you have to be able to understand that it is what it is. This life is it's it's what you make it. It's who you date, it's who you surround yourself with, it's who's your friends. They really your family members, they really mold you and make you who you are. And then you give that energy to others. So look, look, it is 2021. I hope that you're able to communicate with individuals that maybe you weren't able to communicate so well in 2020. But if you left them in 2020, leave that trash there. Don't go back for it. Don't go digging. Don't go, déjalo porque te estoy diciendo, tú lo tienes que dejar, déjalo. <laughs> porque Dios mío, it is, it is too much. It is just too much. So yeah, I just wanted to do this quick little rope talk after dark and um, yeah, just test it out. I think that um, this will be the first of many, uh, you know, just warming up and getting used to it. So it's just like anything can happen. I can have like a special guest pop up. <laughs> no but um yes after dark is no makeup no nothing just just me just raw all raw juice of fat juice i'm done i'm done with myself but yeah if you have a draining individual in your life if you still have them or if you have them i hope that you're able to Find a way to heal. In 2021, like I've seen so many memes, come on, come correct. If you got your little stimulus check already, it's not for you because people be waiting forever. Everybody hitting me up like, I got my phone. I was like, bye, I'm putting my phone on silent. Ain't nobody got time for y'all. Nobody got time for y'all. Don't call me. I'll call y'all when mine's come. Talking about they got this stimulus check. I got time for you all. But anyway, if you get it, do not just waste it. Apply it to something. If you want to spend, if you want to buy something for like pain and suffering for 2020, I get it. But don't waste it all. You understand? If you got to save a little bit something for a little rainy day, you never know what you might need a few hundred dollars for. Put it, put it to the side. And um, yeah, if you got to invest, invest, you know, wisely and, and do what you got to do. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Rope Talk After Dark with Idosha. And thank you. This is one of many. And see you guys soon. You know, I appreciate all the love. All the love. Con mucho amor. Buenas noches. Till next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>